What are you working on? <laughs> what I'm working on is trying to get excited about that blue square. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything on the blue square. Uh, no. Yet, but I know there will be. Yes, what I want. What are you working on? Well, I'm trying to do some uh, florals. I, I, I'm trying to. I try to mix it up, and um, and I was thinking about doing flowers for Valentine's Day. Nice. I had done hearts before. Um, and I wanted to do maybe flowers. Um, I like so. your flowers. I love your flower. I love your flowers. Oh yeah, the sunflower. Oh, I had yeah. a lot of fun painting sunflowers when we were in Italy. So I'm here. I'm. Oh, yeah. oh I better say who I am. I'm yeah. Who are you? I who I am. So <laughs> how did I get in here. <laughs> how did I, who am I? How I'll talk I to in? anyone. <laughs> So I'm Pamela Hack, and I'm here with Elizabeth St. Hilaire in your studio. I love coming to your studio, Elizabeth. Thank you. Because Me too. it is a bright, vibrant, colorful, beautiful space. It is. Yeah, it you is. Know I love coming it's a little by. cluttered, um, but that's okay. There's a, there's a certain level of comfort that I have with clutter. Oh, yeah. Having all my stuff around me. It's very artistic clutter. Yeah. It shall is. we say? It is. It yeah. is. It's a. So I'm looking here, in fact, you have some of your apples. Look at this. Mm. Look at your amazing apples here. And this one, I love this one, Elizabeth. I love the, the purple. purples. Look at the purples and the background of that apple. So we're obviously here in your studio today, though, also to follow up on a previous video yes. that we shot about your upcoming retreat in June right. in Italy that we're talking about already. I mean, we're getting we're closer. We're getting excited. We're, we're getting, getting closer. closer. We're getting excited. But we had a few questions come in yes. that I wanted to let you know about. And we thought we could address those questions in this uh, video, right? Because people are really getting excited about, well, many have already signed up, of course. But those who have not yet signed up, we've been getting questions from people saying, you know, what about this or what about that? Right. So we wanted to address all of those in a, in a video so that if you're thinking about coming, um, these the answers to these questions might be something you uh, need to know. Absolutely. Right? So, first of all, this is a biggie. What level of artist is this retreat designed for? Like, who should come? Well, um, we, anybody can uh, of any level, um, comp uh, uh, an emerging artist, uh, an already established artist, or or someone who is just doing it for personal enrichment and hasn't is, is dabbling or is beginning to become interested in art. All levels. I, you know, I had I had a woman in one class who was the mom that came along, and she uh, didn't follow very many of my directions. She just sort of did her own thing. But at the end, her piece was really nice. And she said, I really enjoyed this. I enjoyed spending time with my daughter. I enjoyed being away from my everyday life. And I enjoyed trying something new. And um, it's, a, it's a relatively small group, so there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one, uh, attention. And I help everybody. I really try to help everybody to get to a point where they're happy with their piece. Um, so uh, we do spend a lot of time, you know, working on everyone on an individual basis. So I think Well, that, and I have to helps. I have to interject Elizabeth too. What I observed is and and at other classes I've seen you teach that you're very uh, adept at going to the level where someone is now and working from there. Right. So you're very uh, skilled because you've been doing this a long time. Yeah, I've been teaching so, for a long time. A long time. So you're skilled at noting the, the level at which someone is right now. And so you're not teaching down or teaching up. Right. You're starting from where they are and helping them to move forward. That is the important piece, don't you think? I do. I get a I get a feeling for their comfort level and 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 their grasp of shading or their right. their uh, their ability to draw because we 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 start with a sketch. We do we we um we either sketch Last time we did reference photos. Yes. Um, but I'm thinking if we had real sunflowers, that could be fun. Well, that might be nice. We could uh, yes. set them up or whatever. <laughs> but um, so we do a sketch, and uh, and and then we and then we do a loose painting underneath, and then we mm -hmm. um, then and then after we create the colored papers, after we paint papers uh, for a, a couple of days, then we glue those papers on top of the painting underneath. So it's a multi-step process, yes. and I'm helping the students right from the sketch. So if you have a good sketch then your painting is, is based on the sketch, and then your collage is based on the painting. So so it's a step That work. whole step-by-step -step process. Exactly. Really, yeah. So if I help everyone you know, get a good sketch, and then the next step, and the, then that way by the time we get to the collage, it's that much easier. So, right. Um, and that's where 
this trip is a little different because in most of my three-day classes, because the time is more limited, I ask students to come with the painting underneath already prepared. Oh, I see. Oh, that makes this quite Because different. we only have three days. Right. So, so that extra time that this tr retreat gives you really allows you to dig deeper then. It allows me to dig deeper and it allows me to make sure that what they're working with to begin with is as good as it can possibly oh, be. Right. And Great whereas point. sometimes in the three day classes people come in with something that's going to be more of a challenge but I don't have the time in the three days to really work with them on the yes. sketch and the underpainting because yes. the collage process takes so long. Right. So here's a big question Elizabeth. This one is about supplies. Supplies. Regarding and what they're asking is Will the, the uh, art supplies be supplied, or will they need to bring their own? How does that work with supplies? Well, we included all supplies last time. Um, we have uh, brushes, paints, uh, all, all the materials for cleaning up, water vessels, paper towels, everything. Yeah. Everything. Um, the the uh, the base. Um, we did uh, flat panels, so so like yeah. this, the flat panels, yeah. um, er everything, the pencils, the sketching. I encourage people to bring papers that are important or mean something to them, or, or that appeal appeal to them. So um, some so people, they need to they need to pack paper. But that's it. Yeah. So packing paper and what um, I noticed uh, on your last retreat, Elizabeth, it was so wonderful. People brought beautiful papers from home that right. did mean something to them, and they also brought. Uh, paper that they can then paint. Yes, right? oh, and both because we're using fluid acrylics, which are translucent. So okay, when right. you paint papers that mean something to you, like a letter from your grandmother or a card from your fifth grade, you know, graduation. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, the the translucent uh, properties of the paint allow all that print to show through. Oh, right. So yes, um, yes. so we're painting all those and book pages and maps and all that all that printed matter that's underneath shows right. through. You can see that when you look close at, at, really at the piece. So, um, so yes, and we'll, and we'll make, we'll also have suggestions of different types of paper to bring. So um, mm -hmm. we'll have a, a, a list Absolutely. of suggestions yes. so people aren't like saying, oh, yes. I, I have no idea what Right, to bring. no, you'll know exactly what kind of uh, papers to bring. Yes. And what's, what's wonderful though too about packing paper it's, it's easy to pack, and it's light. It's light doesn't take up a much a much room it's in, not your, in spill. your bag. TSA right. is not going to be worried that it's <laughs> they're flammable. Not, they're not going to be worried about your paper. <laughs> it doesn't so. need to be in a pressurized cabin like paint. Yeah. <laughs> right. And uh, here's a question, then, sort of related to that travel aspect of the retreat. What if I'm traveling by myself? Mm. So if somebody's coming solo, why not? We say, sure. right? We've seen several people or uh, solo, I believe, on your last retreat. I, I right? think more than half of, of I our people. I think so too. I think so too. Because although you might be uh, physically traveling solo from wherever your home city is, mm -hmm. um, some people even met up on the flight, the connecting flight to Italy. Yes. There were several solo travelers who did that. And even at that, we're all meeting up at the Rome airport upon right. the first day of the of the retreat on that arrival day. So everybody is there all together. Mm -hmm. So you're already a part of the retreat family. Right? Yes. Absolutely. Right from the get go, uh, when our, our we have a private van service that picks everybody up. And so it's right there. You're a part of the group and you're really not traveling alone anymore. Also, our um, our dining uh, setup was, was conducive to that because I we do. had a big family-sized table. Yeah. Everybody sits at one big table, and every mm -hmm. night we sort of rotated who we sat next to. Right, so So we so could get nice. to know someone else. Um, and so by the end of the by the end of the the trip, uh, there were a lot of uh, friendships and people Many. exchanging phone numbers, Many. emails, Facebook. So in a nutshell, I would say that it's not just about uh, coming to a class, an art class in Italy, although that would be enough. Yes. But it's it ends up being really an experience of a lifetime, because yeah. you're meeting these people that you wouldn't have met, who have, as you said, Elizabeth, um, they're like-minded. Absolutely. because they have the similar interests and you're creating in this environment that has inspired artists for literally thousands, thousands of, of years. years thousands of years it's almost palpable isn't it it you is can feel it when we went to that etruscan museum oh, yeah I, 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 
the, the, the dates on those items and, yes. and the and the jewelry and the and the uh, it was just it was it was it's amazing it's staggering yeah, yeah the, it really that, is. to see art that goes back that far to see back that jewelry far. The, the idea of ornamentation and and just beauty uh, for beauty's sake beauty for that beauty's went sake back that far that has been that important to people for this long. incredible yeah. really. If you have a question that's beyond one of these that right. I've that I've gone over, please contact us. Oh my! Oh, goodness, absolutely. So we will either uh, myself or, or Pam will um, write back and answer right any away. Questions yeah, we'd love have. to have you. It's a wonderful trip. Yeah. So I hope to see you in Italy. And if you don't mind, Elizabeth, can we take now a, a little trip over to the big easel that you're not able to see right oh, now on camera? Yeah. But I'd love to give you a look at what you're working on. My next big right thing. now, because yeah. it's a big deal. So I hope to see you in Italy. Thanks yes, for watching. Thank you. Uh, this is a portrait of my son, who wow. is 16, and he is on crew, which is rowing. And um, it has been uh, really, really important to him. Ironically, I have never painted my son. So yeah, I felt I felt a little guilty that I haven't painted him. So I decided to make in order to make up for it, I was going to paint him big. <laughs> so I, I'm uh, this is the underpainting. So and, and I'm not quite finished painting the underneath part, but that's how my process goes. I start with a painting underneath, and um, I establish my colors, composition, and my values. What's dark? What's light? What's medium? You know the shading, um, and then I glue the paper on top. And there may be a certain part of it that I may leave still paint. Uh, I may not cover every bit of it with paper, but that sort of uh, evolves along the way. something to write on. I do well, need something to write on. This is a studio that is full of paper, but unfortunately I never have a pad of paper or anything to write on. So I have all these books and what I've learned is that the front of every book has a page oh. that is blank. <laughs> so uh, we course. can do this one. Uh, there you go. Right under Charlotte's Web is plenty of room for you to That's write awesome. notes. That's awesome. Yes. That's perfect. Okay. So, Thanks, Elizabeth. There you go. Thanks.